Hello lovely dancers, my name is Aisha and welcome back to Belly Dance Tutorials. Today I'm gonna do some variations of the side body figure. I had a couple of recent videos where I went over the side body figure eight, full body figure eight from top to down yeah, and from down to top. Um, and today I'm gonna do a couple of variations of the side body figure eight from um, top to uh, from down to top, from down to top, yes. Uh, one variation is a little easier, the other one is a little bit more difficult. So let's get going. In the previous video where I described the side body uh, figure eight from down to top, I always have to remember. <laughs> Um, the movement looked kind of like this, down to top, down to top. So this is the a, more, uh, a smaller version, more restrained. Today, uh, the first variation that I want to do is actually only the upper body. So it doesn't involve the lower body at all. It involves only the body sway in the uh, upper body. Some people call it a body sway. Um, and it looks like this. And I'll describe a few uh, positions with the legs and some weight changes. And I added a snake arm, yeah? So it's a body sway. It, the, the lower body is not involved. It's uh, pretty stationary. You can have the weight equally distributed on both legs, so both, leg, uh, both legs don't move and there is no weight shift. It's only in the upper body. And um, the upper body moves from side to side in this uh, kind of half figure eight pattern. In this movement, the upper body describes this um, kind of a circle, so the shoulder is going up, out, and down. So to break it down, to break down the movement, the shoulder goes up, out, and down. Other one up, out, and down. Okay? And we will add the arms to this. The arms that I'm gonna do now is the snake arms, the snake arms, okay? So I'm adding the snake arms to this body sway. You can move the head if you want, the hair. And let's add more to this. I want to add um, a, a weight shift from one leg to the other. So as I'm moving to this direction, I'm shifting the weight on this leg, moving to the other direction, shifting my weight on the other leg. So it's only um, a shift weight, a weight shift in the legs, but it's not, it's not a full hip movement, yeah? So it's only weight shift, weight. Body sway, arms. And you can add some head, some hair. And you can make it like um, on one leg and come back to the middle. Other leg, come back to the middle. So that's another variation of the movement. So again, one leg. So you switch the weight on the outer leg and then you bring it back. So it's a weight shift to the outer leg, weight shift. So ta da dum, ta da dum, ta da dum. Yeah? Let's play some music and play with these movements. So let's start with a simple um, body sway. Just make it simple. 
with a shift uh, of the weight. So I'm shifting the weight from one leg to the other. I'm gonna lift the leg a little bit. Yeah. And adding, adding the arms. as you want all right and now let's uh, do the leg movement so we will add a leg out and back in leg out This movement is more of a transitional movement, uh, something in between to connect other movements. When you have an extra count somewhere, you stop somewhere, but you have an extra count or two. This is a nice filler, yeah? Yeah, okay. Other arm variations. When I put my arm in front, instead of out, arm in front, arm in front. It's still a snake arm, um, kind of arm movement, but one of the arms is in front instead of out. So another arm variation. Another arm variations that you can do is the S-shape arms, which I used mostly in the other video. together or snake arms again going back to my snake arms with a weight shift all right dancers let's move on the next variation of the side body figure eight involves the full body so both hips and uh, ribcage area and it starts from a really really low stance i described that in the other video but this will be slightly different because i want to keep my legs together and come from a really low stance and to get in that stance one of the uh, movement that you can do is to do a, an Egyptian swivel turn. I described that in the video, I'll link it. <laughs> Egyptian swivel turn. Yeah, like that. Let's, let's, uh, let's do the swivel turn one more time. With the leg out. As you turn around, you lower your stance. You use the hands to give it some momentum. Your behind is pretty much in front uh, of the audience and then you swivel, swivel all the way uh, around but it's one movement so I broke it down now in two movements but it's one movement so the movement is around. all right now let's let's add a body sway to come up from this um, so as I turn around I want to keep my legs together I'm in a very low stance and I'm gonna lift my hip out and roll my upper body over so it's it kind of looks like this yeah one more time on this side all right so let's break it down one more time it's a pretty intense movement <laughs> You have to keep your balance and and this extension as you push the hip out and then you um, roll the upper body over the hip while coming up is pretty intense <laughs> again one more time around and up 
Let's put some music for this. So let's do it a few times together. Prepare, leg out, swivel around, and lift up from the hips to the ribcage. One more time, a little faster. Yeah, one more time. And let's do it together, okay? All right, dancers, try it on the other side, on your own a few times. So do both directions, left and right. Um, I hope you liked it and I hope uh, to see you back here on uh, Belly Dance Tutorials by Aisha next time. Until then, shimmy shimmy!